Honey day is in a few hours. Here's how you can prepare. The first way to prepare for honey day is nectars. It's really important that you guys have the nectars that's required for your hive color. If you're mixed hive, just, you can pretty much just get any nectar. I recommend getting comforting, um, satisfying, and maybe like refreshing or something. Now another way to prepare for honey day guys is making sure you have enough strawberry to get the galantine, which I need to probably do. Cause not gonna lie, I need to get this galantine active when, I, when honey day starts. I haven't used my galantine, if you already used it, you can't use it again. Another way to prepare for honey day is jelly beans. It is vital that you guys have a lot of jelly beans for boosting cause as you guys know, the jelly beans gives like a lot of different buffs which is OP. Like they help so much with getting pollen and all sorts of things. So, things. so it's really important that, important that you have that. Now the other thing is if you guys are for some reason holding presents, it's really important that you guys stack up the beesmas tree. The more stuff you have, the more um, boost and stuff you'll get out of this honey day. Now, um, a quick um, tip for blue hives. I was blue for like a little while before. I didn't really make videos on it because I was lazy. But I recommend for all the blue hives, when honey day does start, you do the robo bear strat to get 100x balloon or near 100x. If you guys don't know how that works, um, it's best that you search on tutorial. How, you can especially search on YouTube for tutorial after this video. Now, another good way to prepare for business is saving your coconut crab. Like I mean, I don't really need micro converters when boosting, but I know a lot of you guys will, especially the blue heads out there and the mid games. You guys will need micro converters, so it's best you save your crab until when you need it. Now, if you guys haven't bought um all the all the you know bundles, make sure you guys save the quick convert bundle that because that can save you mid boost with five micro converters. I don't know who will have time to crop that, but mid boost, but you know if you do have the time, crop that mid boost is pretty useful. And last video I told everyone not to get the blessed bean bundle. Um, the reason why is whenever you run out of jelly beans you can just quickly buy this and you're, you're back at 100. So yeah. Another way guys is uh, make sure that your amulets are as good as possible. My amulets suck but I've been lazy. I'm a bit honest. The only amulets that suck in reality is my um, stick bug. And what, what else was it? My moon could be a bit better. My ant is okay. But yeah. I could have worked much better on that. And my robo bear. So I have a few problems, but I'm just too lazy to fix them. I'll probably fix it after the honey day. I'm just like way too lazy. Another thing you guys can do to get ready for, you know, um, this honey day and stuff is making sure you use all your bitter berries that you're getting. Because you might get an OP uh, mu um, mutation that can actually help you. For example, like critical chance, precise speeds or movement speed vectors, those are pretty good. It is also important that you guys build your sticker stack as much as you guys can. Like try and do some trades for things that you don't need and try and build your sticker stack as much as you can. Right now I got 239 sticker stack. So yeah, make sure you guys, you know, just try and get some stuff that I actually use on your sticker stack. Or you guys can like work for them using the index. So if you guys look, have a look at the index, it will tell you how to get stickers. So you can just do it like that and get it over time. Oh wow, oh wow, I got a look be um sticker overnight. That's pretty cool. This is like my what, my second one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, I mentioned this last video, but I think it's a bit too late now for people to be doing this. But nectar vows, but I don't recommend turning your nectars into nectar vows because honey they can drop any minute now, and I mean literally any minute now. So yeah, so that's why I just quickly made this video to like help out as much people as possible. You guys, it's important that you guys have a lot of loaded dices as well, and yeah, that advice should just help to me as well because I do not have a lot of loaded dices. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna speed it up because I'm like very lazy, and I'm gonna craft as much load dices as I can so I can craft 15. So that should give me 25. Yay! Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, I really, really hope this video will help you guys, and I hope you guys cook this honey and make as much honey as possible. I can't wait to see some of you guys on the leaderboard. Let me know how it goes, and let me know how much you guys made in this honey day. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys um, drop a like, subscribe, all them good stuff. Follow if you're on TikTok. And if you need help with any other tutorial, click one of these videos on screen right now. Or if you're on TikTok, you can head over to my YouTube channel, same name as my TikTok name, and you can find millions of tutorials on my YouTube channel. Literally, I have more videos on my YouTube channel than my TikTok. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.